Hello and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's Monetizer video feature. This is a, uh, a feature in which we play some of the new um, mobile games with in-app purchases um, for about five to ten minutes and look to see uh, what the kind of user experience is um, and particularly what kind of monetization techniques are being used in the early um, stages of a game. So it's a bit different this week in the sense that we're going to play Asphalt 8 from uh, Gameloft um, which is um, is actually a paid game, so it's 99 cents uh, to download, so it's not a pure free-to-play game, which um, I guess we'll be looking to see how that changes, um, if in any way the monetization Gameloft is doing. So let's um, start the stopwatch. There we go, and let's fire up the game. Okay, as, uh, as I seem to say every time, um, I really hate this. I've, okay, in this case, I've bought a game, so it's not just a, not just downloaded it. But um, I don't. I've not played the game. I don't know if I experience it. I mean, this is just kind of asking people: Do I want to have advertising from an experience I don't know yet thrust in my face? Um, I think this is really poor user interface, uh, user experience. Um, in this case, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna start allowing these because I want to see actually what push notifications I get from these games. Obviously, uh, normally up to this point, I've been not allowing them. But um, in this case. Um, Let's uh, let's opt into advertising. Okay, so looks like we're going to start straight away. Or are we loading? Okay, so we've got some loading going on. Doesn't seem to be any downloads going on though. That's good. That's quite nice. There's Game Center popping in. So that's pretty good. So pretty much straight into the game. Um, it's connected me. Oh, is it? It's saying connect. So I'm not connected to. Facebook at least. Um, this is a little bit confusing though. Um, I've had quite a lot of things thrown at me here. There's things flashing, things moving, the cameras. So I've got a World Series race multiplayer now. My ranking obviously not ranked. Season 2. Season 2? I haven't decided even one yet. Okay, Season 2. I can early unlock Season 2 for 99 cents. Oh, here's is this Season 1 here. Oh, Season 1 here. Okay, and there's a car and there's a... Make friends now. Okay, so um, let's just start with the game, shall we? Let's, let's see how we get on. Go on, let's go for a tutorial. Let's see what they give us. Yeah, it might be a bit difficult to play with the uh, with the uh, iPad on the floor, but so uh, I'll forgive some cranky driving. So, give me some cars and some racing. Okay, so off we go, not doing anything. Probably tell me what should be doing. Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh, I still want to, this is not going to work. Oh, damn, that's not to break. It's not even showing me, that's really odd, isn't it? No. Okay, most people should know their left side, but... <laughs> I kind of think it'd actually tell you. Yeah, yeah, okay, I've got that bit. Come on. I don't wait for me to do it, maybe. Okay, tap the right side for nitro. So all pretty standard so far. And then we go airborne. Oh, <laughs> we don't go airborne. I thought that was a jump. Warn me about that. It's not really a good tutorial, is it? Failure. These are quite interesting. Failure states in tutorials are quite interesting, I think. And they can be used in quite positive ways. That one certainly wasn't. Tap the brakes. Okay, so there's going to be some drifting going on. Okay. Okay, not true, the bar is in the red for special vision. The bar is in the red? Oh, and that bar is in the red. Okay. Okay, so we're getting the impression this is a pretty arcadey racer. Hmm. 
Do, do, do. Oh, here we go, airborne. Go off a ramp while drifting to perform a flat spin. Okay. Where's it? Okay. Okay. Oh, a bit of pop up. Uh, thing, first thing Genesis are always taught on racing games. Pop up, let's really pop up. Okay, let's try and get this back straight again. Finish the tutorial, give it another spin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm probably not going to play too much of this game because you're not going to really see what's going on. Um, so we'll have a quick look at um, kind of monetization and, 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 and that kind of uh, structure. So we can see I've got some coins here. So we go straight into the store. Um, so I've got 1500 credits. So I can buy, so it's a pretty standard setup. So six um, options to buy. So um, one pound forty-nine is two dollars. Obviously, going up to a hundred dollars. Again, pretty standard. We can do some analysis to see how these break down. I mean, I assume this is correct. So um, you get one hundred and fifteen percent more if you buy the most um, currency um, than if you buy the the minimum. That's pretty standard. Um, for all games, um, seemingly apart from games from D uh, DNA, <laughs> which seem to have a, uh, a ratio of basically one, <laughs> you don't get any more, no matter how much you spend. Um, that's credit packs, and we've got car packs as well. So I don't really know what currency is used for, but we can buy. Oh, okay, so we can buy car packs as well. This is... So again, six um, bands, same kind of price structure. I guess this is kind of interesting in the sense that I'm being asked to pay, well not asked, but it can pay a hundred dollars here and I get a supreme car back. There's no, does it tell me what I'm getting? Okay, there we go. So it's saying this is what the total is, it's a 1.24 million um, of a credit to get that. <laughs> Um, doesn't tell me how much I'm getting off for it though. Uh, how much discount I'm getting? Maybe that's something I can look at. Um, okay, so that's the store. This is my pretty standard rubbish car. Okay, so this is. So we see this from. No, that's car packs. Um, so if I want to upgrade my car. Okay, so these are the types of cars. Okay, so here's the up standard kind of upgrade process. So let's upgrade the, whatever the carburetor, whatever that is. So it's just upgraded straight away. Let's upgrade that one. Yeah. Okay, so we're not seeing at this stage, at least, for games like CSR Racing um, or, or Fast and Furious 6, when you do an upgrade, um, you're having a wait time. And this is quite interesting as well. So if, if I wanted the next upgrade, it's telling me I need 1,600 more credits, so I want to pack. So the minimum it's given me is obviously the minimum. And at least at this stage, it's not. It's giving me the minimum pack. It's not showing me the most expensive packs, which some games, not many, but some games do do. Let's come out. That's the upgrade. Obviously, the car uh, paint jobs, hot deals. This is going to be okay. So that's the, just taking back to the packs. Okay, what's this? So yeah, so automatically gone to Game Center, look into Facebook, see my friends. Game career, obviously not up to very much at the moment. So um, despite being a pound, uh, a dollar, sorry, to, to buy, pretty pretty smooth kind of kind of experience. Um, straight into the game, no kind of interesting. There's no extra um, kind of updates you have to download, so you kind of get. Get the game straight into the game. Be interesting to play on a little bit more and see um, how important this kind of friend stuff is. Um, whether typically GameLoft have incentivized people to connect to um, to Facebook using currency, which kind of makes sense. Currency is basically for free, and um, getting people to connect obviously makes them much more engaged in the game. Um, oh, and this is early unlock as well. So there's another monetization. So as well as the currency and the car packs, we're also I can go uh, unlock the level. Level two. 
Or can you make an unlock? Okay, so I have to unlock in sequence. I can't unlock the whole thing. So obvious, isn't it? You have to earn the earn the stars to to um, unlock the individual seasons. So there's nine races within the first season. Um, so it's pretty standard kind of monetization techniques, um, and a pretty pretty smooth looking game from Game Loft. There, I guess. What will be interesting is is why it's chosen for the game to be um, a dollar. Um, I guess to the degree if you've got a lot of you've got multiplayer, um, potentially you want to you don't want to take it to too many people too quickly, so you don't want to go free because you're going to have massive server costs that will drop off very quickly. So in a sense, no, the 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 one dollar price is not so much to um, raise money; it's just to limit the amount of people who are playing it to begin with. Um, presumably, at some point you can put it live later and give people who have maybe have bought it you can give them extra currency um, to, to to mitigate that those circumstances. But uh, yeah, we'll be certainly keeping an eye on uh, Asphalt Eight on the uh, top grossing charts.